wind instruments or, or woodwinds, they see someone playing, they see the guitar face, whatever it is, they start to understand the performance. So, I mean, I, I've, I've been, I've chose to, to turn the mono forward, even though it maybe doesn't always give me the best uh, back support to my playing or whatever, but it, I think it's important that the audience understands that there is a performance happening and to create that space, you create a bit of space and, um, and somebody decides to throw a beer at you, so. <laughs> um, I don't mean to sound so sad. Yes? Following up on that, have you ever thought about bringing other instruments along with them on like Shigeto does with drums, yeah. like uh, Chris Willis does with guitar? Absolutely. So the question was, do I, do I ever think about bringing other instruments involved? And I, I have. I perform, I perform on a few occasions with a jazz ensemble named Knee Body. We do a, a dado body. Yeah, that's great. That's really good. Um, and I always feel like a super insufficient musician with them, but it's fun. It's like a fun challenge to play with them. They're really complicated and wonderful musicians. So yeah, no, I, I do invite that kind of space. It, it's hard without people who really improvise because I'm dealing with a lot of microtonality, if, if you know what that means. And, and, uh, and that causes some issues, especially with key instruments that can't deal with the in-between spaces. So that, that can cause issue at times. Sorry, I think I see a hand raised. No, that's just someone filming things. Okay, <laughs> as it happens. So if that's it, I'm gonna just get, okay, please. So, so the question he's kind of asking is, is, taking the food analogy, how can we basically nourish ourselves with other kinds of music along those lines? Like what kind of music? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's, he's specifically working with some odd time signatures into the electronic music, which is a challenge because people, as soon as you get off, deviate off the path of 4-4, right, they get kind of angry and, and lost. And, <laughs> 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 I did a track that I thought was a dumbstep track and an odd time signature. Oh um, my God. I did it for this compilation called North, South, East, West that Warp Records put out. And it has a section that's just like in, I think it's 13, and then it goes into four. Um, don't woo and ah, because nobody liked it. And, and nobody understood it, like, everyone's like, this is messed up. Um, and and I, it's called, um, oh, what song is it called? It, a Bloodworth, that's what it's called. Bloodworth. It's either a 9 or 13, I don't remember now. Um, it's unimportant because the main thing is, it, whatever you, whatever gateway you find in, honestly, if, if you're listening deeper than just what's on Top 40 Radio, you're already nourishing yourself because you're already going through music history to a degree. You're already plumbing the depths of it and just being willing to follow what influences the influences had, you'll get to understanding of how to implement these things because there's a reason they're doing it in like 5-4 or, or 7-8 seven, seven, or whatever, whatever time signature is feeling right for you, if you just find their reasoning, you'll, you'll have yours, I think, guaranteed. Um, if you're forcing it, I do find that any decision you make is going to be a, 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 a... People are going to hold you accountable for any decision you make. Odd time signature, even time signature, whatever. So you just have to own it, basically. And then it, then it works. Ooh. Not good. Yeah. So, okay.